variables and data. So a variable, a variable we can describe as a piece of information that we can group that we collect from lots and lots of different individuals or people or objects. Um, so for example, if I was to try and collect data about the heights of students in my class, the height of any student is classified as my variable, that's my group if you like. The height of them is the group and then the individual data pieces is each individual student that I measure the height from. Okay. So in terms of our wall sit data, um, we have a bunch of data that we collected about people. Now each row is a set of data. So if I had myself and I had Mrs. Sneddon, oh, and I'm putting that in the wrong place. Um, so I'm gonna have Mrs. Sneddon, and I am, I'm gonna have to choose the 16 plus category. Um, I am female, um, I, that's my initials, um, my time, my wall sit time might have only been 10 seconds and my leg up wall sit time might have only been two seconds. So each row is a piece of data about a person and all of the pieces of data in that row belong to that one person. However, each column represents a variable. So all the wall sit times, that is our variable. The variable is wall sit times and it is a collection of all the walls at times from all the people that we have. So in this particular example, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different variables um, in our data set. Um, and I've collected a first name, last name, age, gender, math teacher, walls at time, and leg up walls at time. So those are my seven different variables.